entire life. This is his first performance, so yeah, so like be nice to him. And Ahmed al Mujaddidi. Thank you, Ahmed. All right, how is everyone doing today? All right, okay. So, some more thanks, please. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, very big thank you to Talb Salatasha Tabatasha for hosting us. I mean, not all of us are charismatic and as funny as Mahmoud Shokri to go on Star Academy. Uh, um, regardless of that, um, a very big shout out to the people from Twitter who appeared here. So, if you have, I mean, you're the only people I know who can actually use the word tweet in their actual day to day vocab. So, very, very big props. Well, my name is Ahmed Al Mujaddidi. I'm 50% um, Egyptian, 25% Saudi, and 25% Afghani. So that makes me 100% most likely to show up on Jazeera saying, Die, you American infidels. <laughs> it's a sad, sad truth that I've accepted because I mean, you know. Um, I was raised in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, for most of my high school life. And I was in a school. It was called Manarat Riyadh, Ahmed Shal Tut, but actually, you know. Yeah, I actually know most of the teachers that you were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's Kearney. Oh, really? All right, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I was in an English Islamic school. So they taught us Islam in English. So as far as maybe until I was 14, I thought all the prophets talked in English. <laughs> and all the battles were like the Battle of Badr instead of Ghazwa Badr, the Battle of the Ditch, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah and things like that. But a lot of funny things happen to you when you're in school like that. Um, I remember the first time I got caught saying the F word, I said fuck, and like a teacher comes in. And the teachers in Saudi, they're not like the teachers here. They've got beards that go all the way down to the Sora, like the Leiden does. Um, they don't have Zibibas, they have like khaptas, kind of like black, black khaptas. And so he catches me and he gets really pissed off and he's like, well, you go to the supervisor's office. So I go to the supervisor's office and I sit down and he's like, Ahmed, tell me, well, what brought you to my office today? Like, well, sir, I kind of cursed. And he's like, oh, astaghfirullah and azim. What did you say? And I'm like, well, I can't really say it in front of you, sir, because you're just going to suspend me. And he's like, no, 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 tell me, was it the A word? And I'm like, no, it wasn't the A word. He's like, was it the B word? And I'm like, no, it wasn't the B word either. He's like, was it the F word? I was like, there we go. Yeah, it was kind of the F word. So he looks at me and he's like, Astaghfirullah, what would the Prophet do if he was alive to see you right now? I was like, well, I don't think he would have understood, but I mean, that's, I, I was pretty much a smart ass in school. So he looks at me and he's like, Ahmed, listen, I'm not going to suspend you, but I want you to like think to yourself and take the day off. Go back home and pray. I want you to pray two rakahs and pray to God that he can forgive you for such an atrocious sin. And I'm like, so wait, I'm not suspended? So he's like, yeah, you're just going to pray and everything's going to be fine. I was like, sir, well, in that case, fuck it, can I get two? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm pretty nervous, so this is actually helping. So if you want to clap some more, that'll be great. <laughs> And like a lot of funny things happen. I mean, I, we had this other teacher and he taught Islamic education and he used to like being called Sheikh because I mean, that's how they rolled back in Saudi Arabia. So he's teaching us about polygamy, the fact that we can marry more than one woman in Islam and the fact that it's halal and everything. So we're in class and he's talking and talking and talking. So suddenly one of the students raises his hand and he's like, sir, whoa, whoa, wait, you're saying that if we can marry more than one woman, take into consideration that we're 13, so this is like huge news for us. So he looks at us and he's like, yeah, of course, it's halal and there's no problem whatsoever. So uh, he looks and he's like, sir, under those guidelines, does that mean that Islam is okay with threesomes? <laughs> the whole class shuts up. And then he thinks to himself and he's like, hmm, la, la ya Jews, haram. And we're like, why? And he's like, because there's apparently this rule that says women aren't allowed to see other women naked in Islam. It's a rule, it's somewhere in like the books and everything. So at which point, me being the smart ass I am, raise my hand. So he looks at me and he's like, Khairi Ahmed. And I'm like, what if we blindfold them? <laughs> Need needless to say, I couldn't show up in school the next week. I said, then we can halal for like a whole week. Um, but seriously, I came to Egypt and like the stories just kept continuing from there because I went to um, Asad Aini University, I study medicine. My last year, I'm graduating hopefully next month. And yeah. <laughs> uh, but a lot of funny things happen because it's a public university, as you all know. And for some reason, living in Saudi doesn't automatically mean that your Arabic needs to be amazing. I mean, my Arabic was shit until I came to the, uh, Cairo. So 
I'm in school my first day, and uh, I'm looking for anyone, anyone that I can connect with, any guy that at least speaks English. Not because it's like a, you know, like a social elitist thing, but because I don't understand Arabic that well. So I find this guy, and he's listening to his iPod, and I'm like, all right, okay, pretty cool. You could be listening to English. <laughs> and uh, he looks at me, and I look at him, and I'm like, Captain, Captain, because of course we all have to say Captain when we don't know someone. And uh, I look at him, and I'm like, Captain, this is my Captain. He's like, it's my Amdi, I'm like, I'm the good then. I'm like, all right. In the headphones and it's Sean Paul getting busy and I'm like all right okay whatever get busy it's an all right song it's English so like whatever so I'm like yeah that's actually a pretty good song Sean Paul's a pretty good artist lies anyways um, he looks at me and he says me 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 Sean Paul and I'm like Sean Paul the guy who sang get busy He's like, la 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 la, it's mu si an baul. And I'm like, what? And he's like, si an s e a n p a u s si an baul. And I'm like, no man, it's Sean Paul, trust me on this. And he's like, no, 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 Sean S H A W N. And I'm like, shit, you're right. <laughs> Needless to say, I was like, all right, well, I can't really talk to this guy, so I leave. And before I leave, he starts shouting, and he's like, Sanya, 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 Mr. Matakshi Christina Algorella. <laughs> Which point I was like, goodbye, I'm not gonna know you. So, um, what else has been happening? Oh, I remember my first day having a clinical exam. And if you guys, you guys who aren't in medicine, you don't know how this works, what happens is you go to the hospital and there's a patient and you have to actually examine and inspect the patient. Um, you inspect the patient and there's a doctor there sitting and judging your every single move. And the funniest part in all this is you have to be dressed up in a full suit. I don't know why, but they get off on that. Regardless, um, so there I am and I'm nervous and this is my first patient to ever examine because I never used to go to class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there and I go in and I ask the, the patient, it's me, and she's like, it's me, Zainab. I says, how are you doing, Sayyida Zainab? I'm like, all right, okay, Sayyida Zainab, cool. And the comes Sayyida Zainab, she's like, and I'm like, okay, Malik, Sayyida Zainab. She's like, I was like, okay, so like, I go and do the chest examination and I get the stethoscope and I'm putting it on her chest. And I'm like, and she's like, all right, cool. And it's still pretty uncomfortable. So she looks at me and she's like, Sanya, 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 Wahda. <laughs> so there I am, staring at 73 year old Sag. And let me tell you about 73 year old Sag. That doesn't leave your mind ever. Ever. It, it's imprinted in the back of my mind. And so, so there I am, I'm staring. And I can't help but stare. I'm like a deer caught in headlights, very big headlights, but headlights nonetheless. And he, the doctor, she's over there and she's like, Yalla! And I'm like, Yalla eh? <laughs> She's like, Hiss! Hiss eh? Palpit! Palpit eh? But stop there, doctor! And she looks and she's like, Pensible breasts! And I'm like, <laughs> The next five minutes, I do not remember what happened. <laughs> I have erased it. I know my retinas have burnt. And I really, really thank God that I don't remember. I figured if the memory was that traumatic, it's a good thing my brain deleted it. <laughs> but the scariest part of it was when I was done. She holds me by the hand and she winks at me, the 73 year old woman. And she looks at me, she's like, Dr. Rahman, eidak fiha baraka. Well, anyways. <laughs> that's, that's all I have today because I thought I was going on for five minutes. But I hope you like the show. Stay because there's more. Thank you, Twitter people. Thank you, Ahmad Radi. And everyone who's appeared. So, good night. Thank you, Mother.